in class you've been exploring graphing logarithmic functions. Um, I am going to start by graphing um, the parent function. And the parent function for a logarithmic function is y equals log base b of x. Um, let's look at an example. So if I have y equals log base 5 of x. Um, remember, I can rewrite this as, um, as exponents. Logarithms and exponents are inverses of each other. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. Um, so it'd be 5 to the y equals x. And then I make a table of values. Now the interesting thing about my table of values that I'm going to make in this case is that since y is the power, I'm actually going to almost treat it as if it's x. I'm going to plug values in for y and solve for x. So we'll do the standard negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So um, 5 to the negative 2 power is 1 over 25, to the negative 1 power is 1 over 5, 0 power 1, 1, 25, 1, 25. So when I graph this, I want to pay attention to the fact that I have positive and negative y's, but that I only have positive x's. And then scaling here. So my y's, I'm counting by 1's. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. For my x's, however, um, I'm you know, going from very small to pretty big. So maybe what I'll do here is I'll say that this is 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. So um, I'm going to go over 125, so that's very, very small, and go down 2. So I'm really, really close to the um, y-axis there. I'm still really close to the y-axis for when um, for the point one fifth comma negative one. However, um, one comma zero, so I haven't gone far on the on the x-axis still. Five, so about halfway between twenty zero and twenty five, is um, twelve and a half. So I'm somewhere over here. Twenty five. And then, of course, 125. So I'm getting this sort of shape, which makes sense since logarithms are the inverses of exponents, and we exceed this exponential type function, but it's flipped. It's, it's, along, it's reflected along the y equals x axis, which should make perfect sense given the fact um, that their inverses and inverse functions are reflected over the y equals x line. So now let's look at what happens, or actually you've explored what happens in class when we have y equals a plus log base b x plus n. Very similar to quadratic functions that you saw in math 2, this a moves our function um, up and down. And this n moves our function left and right. And officially, I think there's a small typo that I just made, officially, um, like in parabolas, really this should be minus n, which means that um, we move it n units. And in this case, this would be when n is positive, we move it right. And when n is negative, meaning x plus, we would move it left. So let's look at the same function that we had in our first example up here. Um, and let's change our function slightly. Let's say um, 2 plus log 5, base 5, of x minus 4. So 
I know where my parent function, I know where that log base 5 of x sits. And what the 2 does is it takes this whole function and it's going to move it up 2 units. And the 4 is going to take this whole function and it's going to move everything over 4 units to the right. So when I make my table, um, if I start with my x's, actually it's going to be easier to start with my y's. little bit more space. So let's extend this x and y. So when I start with my y of negative 2, remember that the left, the up down movement is my y's and so this says move it 2 up, so plus 2. So my negative 1 would be plus 2, 0 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 2 plus 2 and 3 plus 2. So my y's now become 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. However, my original, um, in my original act y's were negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So that corresponded to 1 over 25, 1 over 5, 1, 5, 25, 1, 25. Um, and the 4 here tells me that I need to move all of these to the right 4. So add 4, add 4, add 4, add 4, add 4, add 4. So my new x's are 4 and 1 25ths, 4 and 1 5th, 5, 9, 29, 1 29. So I'm going to use the same scale as I used above. So one, two. Uh, yes, I'm going to use the same scale as I used above, but of course now my graph goes um, doesn't have a negative, so I should have actually drawn my axis a little lower. Um, but I'm still going to have 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. So instead of having my x's be initially really close to the y-axis, they're actually going to be a little bit further away. They're going to be four further away. So that's still pretty close. Um, I've got there for the um, y is 1, I'm a little bit further away. For the y is 2, a little bit further away. For y being 3, um, I'm now still a little bit further away. For y being 4, I'm all the way over at x being 29, so I'm getting a little bit bigger here. And then for y being 5, I'm a little bit past. So we can see that these two functions have the same general overall shape, but what they what changed is that they were shifted to the right and shifted up. Um, when we talk about logs and expo exponential functions, we talk about it having sort of this, this place that it's approaching. And so in the parent function, we can see that our graph is approaching the y-axis. In this case, however, our graph is approaching the line x equals 4. Up here, our graph is approaching x equals 0. And then, of course, the graph continues um, going up as x increases, um, but it's always going to be 4 higher in our uh, translated function than it was in our parent function.